Greetings, greetings everyone. I'm your host, Duka Putriyo Shititi Bunosina. I'm Dom Lamb, I'm Mosin, I'm Sutu Wakwake. I'm I'm your host of this podcast called The Quest Quintessential Experience with Sipo. So basically today I'm going to be focusing on the history of people of Balubedu who speak Kilobedu. So, or you can call it Kilozui. So these people are situated in South Africa. You can find them here in South Africa in Limpopo province and in places such as Giani, Makado, uh, Majajis Proof, and Zanin. You can find these people. And their language it's quite different, but it's closer to Chivenda and also Sesotho Salebuwa, which is now called Sibiri. There's some elements they will not Yana if you can listen, because Baba. So some of the most famous Balobidi people are whom we know are musicians such as King Munada, CK the DJ, Kendi Wamandevele. Yeah, among a lot of them go Peluan. Is it Peluan? Yeah, Peluan or something. I stand to be corrected on that name, Peluan. So, these people, they actually come from the Rosi Empire, which the empire descended from Zimbabwe. And it was founded, the Rosi Empire was founded, founded by the priesthood of Mutota, Munamutapa. Empire, which at the time was the central government in places like Boswaziland, Botswana. So it was so strong. There's so many stories about Manamutapa Empire. Even said that about people like the great bishop Joshua. We assure Maponga is from the that empire, Yamuna Mutapa. So the Rosy the Rosy Empire actually those people left and went they migrated because of the fight they had with inside the empire where they there was a battle for succession who was gonna take the leadership role so a certain princess left along with her brothers and they migrated to what's the Limpopo River that's where the people of Palobeju come from Ki Kilobeju or Ki, whom they speak Kilo Uzi. So they started the the dynasty now, the kingship dynasty. It started as a kingship dynasty. The one we know now as the Queen Mojaji dynasty, which has stretched over two hundred years. And the six six queens, queens such as Bo Masala Nabu, and the recent queen who who died in 2005 at the age of 27, and then after her they put up a a region who was in charge for about 
17 years up until now the also a, a squabble and a fight for the window so last time I checked a person who ascended the throne was Lukukela the the firstborn of the late queen who died at the age of 27 in 2005 and they say they legitimate her for the dynasty is Masalanabu but when the mother died in 2005 Masalanabu was young and there were so many squabbles they say a friend of the queen the queen the sixth queen claimed now Uguti Babaga Masalanabo and then Masalanabo was now being fostered by Njimutehwa and Uj and his husband who's I don't know if he's still the MP of ANC still the member of parliament I forgot the name is Dr. Uh, but it's Motsehwa so yeah they say no he can't be involved in issues of the throne and the family so it's, it's a whole 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 chaos and um, now if they put Kukela which means it goes back to the kingship and the kingship now the thing about the kingship they say if it goes back to the queen kingship so if it goes back to kingship which means now the Mokoto family are the rightful people now the the Mojaji are gonna lose the queenship if now they they want to move it to the kingship because remember the first king was Makabino and the last king was Mokoto so it's that whole complicated and situation that is happening at the royal house and yeah it's the the kings they made they could make the they could make the rain with the rain makers for the first 200 years and then it changed from the kingship to the queenship where the queens and there were six kings who came before and then also six queens who came and then after the six queens and then they came the regent so yeah it's it's a very layered conversation and complicated one which involves court battles and fights and divisions and you know when the family starts fighting it's something else so it's like we need a succession planning that is solid and we need to write down our history and the rules so that avoid fights because if you can look at the the monarchy in the UK they, they just coronated King Charles who took over from the late Queen Elizabeth so you know and they need to be clear like at the time when France used to have the monarchy they were clear with their agenda that it's only kings no queens so they need to 
that needs to be clear to avoid divisions because if it's not clear then outsiders are gonna come in and it's gonna be the whole entire mess because people are looking to gain from this thing so it's a very very and we need to as african people to, to preserve our cultures to create documentaries to write books so when an older person dies it's like a library burning down we need to share this oral history so i'd like to hear also from the comment section what are the thoughts of the Mojaji dynasty which stretched for 200 years plus 200 years year kingship which started by Makabino and the last king was Mokoto so yeah we need to learn I'm not an expert in this subject but I'm actually a person who loves history and an enthusiast who is willing to learn because as Marcus Garvey said that a people who don't know their origin who don't know their past their tradition and customs and cultures are like a tree without the roots so we need to know our roots so that we can, cannot get lost because if you can if you can look at the story of the last queen who died in mystery mystery Kali, is that it said that he was in love with the commoner so basically from the history that if you're a queen you need to also be married to someone who has royal blood so there's a person who was in love with the queen in which Obabaga Masala Nabo and so it's the whole complicated thing and yeah now she was the first queen from all those queens who came before her to go to school to be educated and it was said that she was not supposed also to drive cars to live a western life of driving cars they must be that person or lazy lapa because of the secrets there there's the culture and they as they explain is explain it well the process of rain making it's a very very sacred process which involves not one person but a lot of them so that's why it could move from kingship to queenship it doesn't mean that no it's only women who could make Avanganisa but also the male Nabo the kings can do that history has told us that also the regent who has spent 17 years from 2005 up until soon he was also a male and he did that annual ritual the annual ritual and it is said that place Gubamulubedi it's a very those villages there are so are so mysterious and when you get there like you can sense that this place is powerful because I have a friend of mine who who I call U Umajanja. Nayomulobedu so used to tell me about all these stories. 
while we used to work together in retail and explained to me because I was like when a language Jaco is almost like a speed but it's different in a touches fan that yeah it's true so they are descendants of the Rosy Empire Kilovedu Kilovedu so such an amazing language which I want to learn and understand fully and I ask myself why is it not an official language in South Africa there's so many languages dialects which are spoken here around the country I think they need to be added and so that we can see how we are vast and diverse beings and we are electromagnetic beings who constantly that constantly vibrate in energy so it's quite important to know where we come from to learn from our ancestors and to ask those questions i believe that if we can use this social media guys like with tiktok and curate the content and force people now to actually the algorithms now to force them to feed us information in history because of we seem to have lost ourselves we need to go back and find ourselves a process of self-discovery to ask who are we where we come from ask those questions so that we can know our strength you know that if i come from the Mojaji dynasty so all those things we must know them so that our culture must not be diluted because there's also I was listening to a spokesperson Akulumela the royal house the reason there's a delaying or masana Masala Nabu, which means stay with them. She was young and she's she grew up like Houting and with her foster parents. So she missed some of the teachings and lessons and processes because of process of Nisim Vula. It's, I don't think it's a process which you can take lightly. It's like initiation where you act to learn how the process is from an early age and grow with it so that once you ascend the throne then you have the power you have the knowledge about that's why the book of Hosea 4 states that my people perish because of the lack of knowledge so once you have the knowledge then you'll be able you will have the belief and have the faith. When Apostle Paul speaks about we don't walk by sight, we walk by faith, he means that once you have that knowledge, that knowledge is in you, you activate that knowledge inside you, which because of it's in your blood, you're carrying the blood of your ancestors and activating it. And then you can tap into this other realms where you also can get messages from the ancestors and actually understand and see that us as Africans we're not praying to ancestors but we're actually praising them, honoring them, paying homage and appeasing them and acknowledging those who came before us and we connect because of abanye bethu tholo ukuthi sithiyelwe ngamagama wabantu bebakhona before tholo ukuthi that person bukusangoma and then now you have to continue where that person bakthiyele ngaye gama left off so understand that south africa comes from a very difficult 
time where we are colonized by the British and if you can look at South Africa it's it's a numerical minority who has the cultural majority which means we've adopted the culture of the minority and lost ours our ancestors sometimes they had to sacrifice because of the circumstances of colonialism and apartheid so us as a youth it's our it's our duty now to take the baton and go on and go forward and actually learn and write books research about it's not enough to, to, to be dancing with TikTok. I was, I was saying a TikTok, but we need content that's gonna be informative, content that is gonna share engineering, it's gonna share in construction, it's gonna share in agriculture, so that we share knowledge. And knowledge is okay faster because now bad things trend now. Isn't this a bad is a trend faster? A person or this person or then those things trend but good things don't trend this content the history don't trend we're letting Europeans tell our story why? why are we not sharing our stories? why are, not, why are we not writing books? why are not we creating content to YouTube? Of our stories, not as our, our own perspectives. Because of if we allow other people to tell our stories, they're gonna take the story and make it their own, and make us look like we were never here before. And actually, if you can look at the history from early as the 1400s, the way people, the Tanitwa people, Gorangoikwa who spoke the Kwe language so there were a lot of people who were there in the Cape but only been taught about 1652 when Bochams van but what about before pre-colonialism where our people lived in harmony with peace this process of missing Vula must not end. It's our it's our thing. Imagine a ritual that lasts for about four hundred years from kings to queens all those years surviving all those storms. So yeah, we need to uh, I, I like to speak the words of Drake at no it's not Drake it's J. Cole at love yours you can never be happy if you don't love yours love yours there's always gonna be someone better than you who has more money than you but love yourself love your culture love your parents appreciate your parents appreciate your grandfathers appreciate those who came before you so that if you can understand where you're coming from you'll know where you are and you'll know where you're going and you'll know where they failed and you'll know their strengths their weaknesses their opportunities their threats so that you, history doesn't repeat itself was no where our forefathers were laid and then that thing is gonna make us understand ourselves more better and we're not gonna be inferior because of now those who conquered us have this notion that 
as asplex are epistemologically and ontologically inferior, which is not. We are not inferior, but we are superior as a black child. I know that being young, being black in this country, it's a handicap, but we need to as a youth, like the youth of 1976, like Boom Mama by 1956, who went and marched against the past laws, like the youth of 1976 in Soweto, who uprised and fought against the apartheid government that wish they will never be instructed in Africans as a medium of instruction. And that changed the political landscape of the country. The youth, I believe, can change. And we need to go back, love who we are, learn our customs, learn our traditions, actually go back as we live over and respect our elders. Peace. Peace. May peace be at home. Amen.